and welcome back to Unhelpful Yoda. Um, today we're going to go over the Wii collection. Uh, I have a lot of Wii games. Uh, this isn't all of them, as you can see. We'll see if we can kind of glue you down to see the rest of this, but there are uh, quite a lot of Wii games. Um, so we're just going to go through and talk about each one quickly. Uh, this isn't like an in-depth or anything like that. We're just going to go real quick with each game. Uh, so, with that out of the way, to get started, we have 007, Quantum of Silence. It's a James Bond game. It's not exactly the best James Bond game, but it's not the worst James Bond game. It's okay. We have 101, Party Mega Mix. I can't believe this made my atlas. Um, see the atlas a little bit. Um, I believe this also made its way to the Wii U. I could be wrong, but I think this is also on the Wii U. My Wii U collection is kind of packed at the moment. Um, I do have a complete collection, but I don't memorize every game I own. Um, I think this made it to the Wii U, though. This is a weird choice. I'm surprised Atlas made this. They might have just published it. I don't know, but I'm surprised. Um, we have... Maybe this is the one that's on the Wii <laughs> Maybe this is the one that's on the Wii U. Uh, 30 Great Games Family Party. Um, this is bad. We have Acme. Arsenal. Um, I mean, I haven't played this yet. I bought it because it was $3 at GameStop. I was buying out the GameStop Wii lot at the time, so I bought basically everything I could find they had at the Wii, or for the Wii, that was at a reasonable price. This was, you know, $3. It's more than reasonable for a complete game. I believe it's complete. Yeah, for a complete game. Um, I do like the Looney Tunes, though, so... I have aspirations for this game. I hope it's good. It's probably terrible, but I hope it's good. Uh, next we have Alien Syndrome. Uh, I bought this after seeing it, I believe, on the Metal Jesus channel. Uh, it looks pretty good, though. This looks like a DC game. I mean, it's made by Sega. It's probably decent. Um, but if, I not, if I'm not mistaken, Metal Jesus showed it off, and it looked pretty decent. I found it right, like, right around the time that happened, and I just picked it up. Uh, we have Alone in the Dark. Five dollars. I bought it at GameStop because it was five dollars. That's all I got. I, just, I bought it because it was five bucks. Again, I was buying out GameStop with all their Wii games. Uh, as they start to get rid of games, this is a good trick if you're building a game collection. Uh, they do a lot of like buy two get two free sales. Go in and make two orders. Um, buy everything that's like five bucks and under, and get like everything that they have cheap. You'll build that a really big library, and sometimes it doesn't cheap doesn't mean bad. Like in the case of Acme, that's probably a decent game for two dollars. Um, and we'll continue with some of the other ones that I know I got cheap that actually turned out to be pretty good games. Um, in this case, we have Animal Crossing City Folk and Animal Crossing City Folk Nintendo Select. This is sealed. I got from Walmart literally at the start of the uh, shutdown. Um, like right around the time, like June-ish of last year. Uh, yeah, four bucks for a sealed copy. This game goes for a decent amount, so four dollars on a sealed copy was nice. I don't like Animal Crossing though. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a big fan, it's not my kind of game. Um, here's one. Uh, I picked this up at my local game store, Classic Game Junkies, but this is another game where it's five dollars. It's cheap, but it's decent. It's, it's fun if you like. Yeah, neat little game. Uh, we have Bakugan, the Battle Brawler. I haven't played this one yet. I don't know anything about this game. We have Ben 10, Protector of Earth. He looks really creepy in this picture. Uh, maybe it's just me. He looks uncomfortable. I don't know. I don't, never played Ben 10. We got Ben 10. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this word, but attacks. Sure. Sometimes I just have games. I don't know. Like this. Big, okay. Big Brain Academy, Wii Degree. I like these kind of games. These are these are neat little, uh, I guess puzzle game is the word, but like, you know, there's learning games. It's neat, it's a fun little romp there. Romp. <laughs> uh, we got Big League Sports. It's like worse, I don't even, it's not even worse, bad Wii Sports, because Wii Sports is fun. That's bad Wii Sports. We got Biggest Loser. I think this is just a, you know, add a game. Uh, we got Billy the Wizard. Um, this isn't very good. But it's data design. 
So that's something. No, it's not. This game's terrible, but short. When, you, when I bought it, I was expecting like a the Harry Potter, you know, race on the broom or whatever. It's not that. Don't buy it thinking that. We got Black Eyed Peas. Again, this was it was two bucks. What the hell? We got Bleach, Shatter Blade. This is actually one of the first Wii games I ever owned. Uh, when I first got the Wii as a kid, well, not a kid, maybe like a teenager, but whatever. Um, this was out. This was relatively new. As you can see, I spent forty-five dollars on this game, um, but it's really good. Uh, at least for an early Wii game, it's a fighting game that heavily uses the motion controls, but it's nice. I like this game. It's not the best Bleach game, but it's a fun one. It's one of the few that we had in North America at the time, and even now, it's one of the few that we have, so this is a good one. We got Boogie. I just bought it because he looks ridiculous. We got Boom Blocks. This is Steven Spielberg game. That's actually why I bought it. I know I did not pay $26,000. I don't know where I got this from. I think I got this at a yard sale or a flea market. Um, but I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It looks like a, a puzzle game. It's probably okay. We got Bratz. Uh, Girls Really Rock. Okay. We got Bust and Move Bash. I actually bought this for my wife. She really wanted this game. It looked fun. I like the Bust and Move game, so this is probably decent. We got. Uh, the Bubble Bobble cast up there. I don't know who any of these other people are, but you know, it looks like a fun little game. Kabbalah? Can Kabbalah go to hell? I don't, I don't really have a pun there. I, I don't like the Kabbalah games. They're fucking stupid. Who wants to hunt? Let alone hunt. Fake hunt. We got Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and Call of, Call of Duty World at War. These actually aren't that bad on the Wii. Um, I know I talked some crap on them <laughs> in, in general Call of Duty games on my PS3 video. They're not that bad. And Call of Duty's not bad. Uh, next we got Captain America. I didn't actually play this game, but it's made by Sega, so it's probably decent, right? I mean, it's a licensed game. How good could it be? But it's also made by Sega, so like, how bad could it be? We got Carnival games and new Carnival games. I didn't know there was a new Carnival game. This one's still sealed. Uh, I didn't know this existed. I found this at a flea market uh, back in, I want to say June or July. Uh, it was like five bucks. It, looked, it looks okay though. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that. We got Chicken Shoot. Chicken Shoot. We got Chicken Blaster. We got Chuck E. Cheese Party Games. Um, I, don't, I didn't play this one. It was a dollar at a flea market like five years ago. Looks okay, I guess, for a party. I mean, it's probably just bad Wii Sports again, or Wii Party, or one of those games. It's, probably, it's just a bad version of that. We got Club Penguin. Never played this one, but we got Club Penguin. Cartoon Network Punch, Punch Time Explosion XL. I did play this game. It's not bad. It's not what I expected, but it's not bad. Uh, I kind of thought it was going to be like a Smash Brothers clone or whatever, but it, it's not that. It's more like a side-scrolling beat-em-up game, um, but it's fun. It's, this is so there's another one. I paid five dollars for it at GameStop. This is a decent game. If you find this for five bucks, pick it up. Especially if you like old Cartoon Network. This is good. Also, Blue. We got the conduit. Uh, I bought this at a convention back in June. I haven't played it yet, but it looks it looks decent. Cooking Mama Cook Off. I love the Cooking Mama games, so I actually really enjoyed this one. Counter Force. Never played this game. Don't know what this game is. Never played it. But I mean, it's a mech game, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't have high hopes for that one. Crash. Mind Over Mutant. I'm gonna go with the No. Dave Mirror BMX Challenge. I mean, this probably isn't terrible. I assume it's like a Tony Hawk game. I haven't played it though. Dead Rising, Chop Till You Drop. I mean, it's fine. It's a not a good version of this game. Like, there's obviously the regular versions of this game are better. 
um, especially the original one. But this is this is fine for the Wii. For being on the Wii, this is decent. Disney and uh, Princess Enchanted Journey. This game's great. A, this is a nice little Disney Princess game. I personally enjoy this one. Shout out Spell. Donkey Kong Country Returns. I don't think I really need to speak on Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's a great game and I mean it's Donkey Kong. I love Donkey Kong. Every Donkey Kong game is good. Dragon Ball Revenge. King, uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Revenge of King Piccolo. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, I don't hear a lot of people talk about the uh, this Dragon Ball game. You don't really get a whole lot of Dragon Ball games. You get a lot of Dragon Ball Z games but not a lot of Dragon Ball games. I like Dragon Ball better than Dragon Ball Z. Um, I just think it's more funny. It's more Toriyama's style as opposed to Dragon Ball Z, which seems like he's just repetitive. Anyway, uh, but this is a good game. If you get a chance to play it, definitely do. It's good. And again, paid $10 for this at GameStop. 10 bucks. This is, it was a steal. This is nothing. Uh, I'm pretty sure this game's actually worth a decent amount these days, but for 10 bucks, this is, this is good. I'm really happy to own this. We got Driver, San Francisco. I haven't played a driver game since, I think, two. That includes this one. EA Active. Have you seen me? I'm not active. No. Elibits. I mean, this looked cool. I haven't played it yet. This looks pretty cool. Hopefully this is good. This actually looks good though. I'm, I'm excited to play that one one day. And Epic Mickey. This is good. I like Epic Mickey. Um, this I think this is better than the second one, in my opinion, but this is good. I like this game. Again, if you have a chance to play this, I think this is on multiple platforms too. Like I think it's on everything. Uh, at least everything that was like out at the time. So if you get a chance, definitely pick that up. Uh, you got Family Feud 2010 edition. I haven't played this yet. We have Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Uh, this is a complete copy of this game. Uh, this game is getting pretty expensive these days, but it's definitely worth the price. If you find the game, uh, definitely do yourself the favor and pick it up, especially if you get it for a decent price. Like if it's, I want to say $50 or less, just pick it up because it, it sells for, I, I want to say like $100 these days. It's I think I paid 70 uh, like a year or so ago, but really good game. I love Fire Emblem. This is another, this is just a good one. Um, not quite as good as the GameCube game, in my opinion. I think the GameCube game's the better game. Um, but this one's still really good, but Path of Radiance. Yeah, I think that's better, but this is still really good. And we don't have that many console Fire Emblem, like home console Fire Emblem games in the States. We really only have Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn, and Three Houses. So if you find it, pick it up, it's worth it. One of the highlights of my week collection, to be honest. Fling Smash. I mean, this is fun. This is a fun game. I know, we went from Fling, from Fire Emblem to Fling Smash. Fortune Street. Me and my wife play this game all the goddamn time. Uh, it's Mario and Dragon Quest. on a board game. Uh, not unlike Monopoly, but kind of not like Monopoly at the same time. It's a lot more stock driven, I guess. Uh, but we play this all the time. This is probably the only Wii game that she will play. Uh, she's not a big fan of the Wii. I love the Wii. And the Wii U, but whatever. Um, this good game. Highly recommend it, especially if you have multiple people. It's This is a blast. The only downside is, one, this is the only Fortune Street game in the States. So, come on, can we get a new one, please? There's a PS4 one. Why the fuck was it? Anyway, um, also, and probably the most important there's a lot of unlockable stuff, but the unlockable stuff is only through single player, and single player is boring as hell. The fun is like the fun in Mario Party or in any other party game. You're playing, you know, in a group with people, and it's fun to watch each other lose and help meet each other win, that kind of stuff. Playing by yourself is not that fun, so that takes a lot of the joy out of this game. So yeah, I think that they need to release a new one, and please just make the uh, unlockables unlockable through multiplayer, because multiplayer is how people want to play this game. Game Party. This is actually decent for what it is. Uh, it's just another like knockoff Wii Party type game. This one's pretty good. Ghostbusters. 
This is completely different than the one that came out on the PS3 and the 360. And I don't think the remake that they did follows any of this. this I think this is still just the only way to play this version of the game. It's a good game though. Ghost Squad? I never played that one. Go Diego, go. Great Dinosaur Rescue. Um, I don't really have anything to say here, but you know, just, just another random game. Uh, Gormanity? I don't know what this is. I've never played this game. It looks okay. I remember when I bought it. It looked pretty good. Uh, nothing crazy. I think I only paid a couple bucks for it. It's worth a couple bucks, I guess. Uh, for some reason, it kind of reminds me of a uh, the chaotic the cartoon. Uh, obviously, they're not related, but it looks like it to me. Uh, here we have some Guitar Hero games, a staple of any Wii collection. We got Warriors of Rock, World Tour, and a sealed copy of World Tour. Um, I had this game already, and then I wanted the drums and stuff. So my mom bought me this game, but you know, way back in the day when, I, when it came out. Um, it was fun. I, they're, they're good games if you don't know how to play an instrument. I don't know how to play an instrument despite having several of them. So, you know, they're fun little little games. Uh, we got Family Game Night 1, 2 Combo Pack and Family Game Night 3. Again, this is another one where if you just have people to play with, these are good because you get a bunch of weird games like Operation, Connect 4, Jenga, uh, Sorry, Bop It, Boggle. They're, they're good. And then over here, we get this is where we get some really good ones. I mean, I don't understand how you're going to play Twister on the Wii. But Mousetrap, Clue, and Life are good games. So, you know, that's, a, that's some good board games without having board games. Harvey Birdman, this is this is fun. Uh, definitely takes from the uh, cartoon, not cartoon, Adult Swim show. This is fun. When I say takes from it, I mean it, it, it plays sort of similarly to how you would expect the game from the show to play. Uh, Haunted House, I didn't play that. I think it's a movie, isn't it? Hello Kitty Seasons. Uh, I remember buying this. It looked like Animal Crossing Hello Kitty. Uh, so I grabbed it for my wife. I don't think she's played it yet, but it, it looks cute. We have Hooked. Recently got this. No intentions of playing it. I don't fish. We got Hot Wheels. I actually don't know if this is a good game or not. Um, Hot Wheels games are usually pretty decent though, so I, I would go around a limb and say if you find this cheap, it's probably worth it. It can't be that bad. Hot Wheels games are usually pretty decent. Uh, we got House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return. This is good. I like this. Uh, light gun games work really well on the Wii. This is like the console for them. This is a really good light, light, light gun game. Uh, and again, I think these are actually pretty expensive, but if you find them, definitely pick them up. These are good. We got Imagine Party Babies. I only see only bought this for the title. Like the Imagine series is usually like things you want to do as an adult. Who wants to grow up and be a party baby? This is dumb. We got The Incredible Hulk. We got Iron Man 1 and 2. Again, not it to play these. These are a lot of licensed games made by Sega though. They look, I mean, they can't be that bad, right? They're Sega. Watch me be completely wrong about that, by the way. They're probably terrible. Uh, we got Ivy the Kiwi. Uh, I recently purchased this. I haven't played it yet, but it looks really good. This game looks adorable. This game's also very expensive these days, <laughs> so if you find it, pick it up, especially if it's cheap. Uh, but it's really hard to find. Uh, and when I say hard to find, not even counting cost. Like, I just went on eBay to look for it, and I couldn't find a U.S. copy on eBay. Uh, that may have changed now. This was back when uh, too many games happened around here, so maybe three or four months ago, but I went on eBay the day of Too Many Games after not finding it at the convention, and I couldn't find it. So I ended up getting it from a, uh, someone on a Facebook group, but yeah, this, this actually was an issue to find. So if you find it, definitely pick it up. It is a little expensive though. Uh, Jumpstart, Escape from Adventure Island. I've never played this game before. Uh, we got The Bane of My Existence, Just Dance. We got Two, three, a sealed copy of three, and 2014. I don't know if there is a number four. I don't know if 2014 is number four. 
but we got a few of them. We got Kawasaki Jet Ski. Um, this goes along with the uh, data design game collection I've been building. It's also not good, just like the Billy Wizard game. Uh, we've got a couple of Kirby games here. We got Kirby Epic Yarn, Kirby Return to Dreamland, and Kirby 20th Anniversary Collection. Uh, is it 20? Uh, uh, Kirby Dream Collection. I think it's the 20th anniversary, though. Yeah, 20 years ago, Kirby. Anyway, uh, I'm stupid. It's right there on the cover. Anyway, these are all really good. Like, if you like Nintendo games, you like Kirby, you like Mario, you know. The, these are good. These are all good games, especially the collection. The collection's pretty expensive, I think, these days, and you can turn the Dreamland never went down in price, I don't think, but they're all really good. Uh, I actually really like Epic Yarn as well, but these, again, all good. I think Epic Yarn just came out on the 3DS, too, if you want to play that instead of the Wii. Although the Wii is compatible with the Wii U if you're one of 13 million people who own one. Which sounds like a lot of people, but it, it's like nothing. Um, we got Kung Fu Panda. Never played it. Legend of Dragon, or Legend of the Dragon. Um, I never played this game. I picked it up recently. I mean, it looks pretty decent. It's probably just something like some kind of weird fighting game or something. I don't know. It looks like a Saturday morning cartoon, but it looks pretty decent. Um, I mean, we got the two Zelda's Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword. These are both great games. Uh, this one just came out on the Switch, so if you have it on the Switch, you should just pick this up on Switch. It's probably better. Um, in fact, the quality of life features alone make it better, but it's still a good game. Twilight Princess, uh, I recommend either the Wii U or the GameCube version. Preferably the GameCube version, I think it looks better. But, yeah, they're if they're all good, so if you buy it on the way, you buy it on the way. Uh, let's see, we got a couple of LEGO games here. We got Batman, Harry Potter 1 through 4, and Star Wars The Complete Saga. I could have swore I just got like a whatever. Um, they might have been, I think I was on DS. Yes. Anyway, uh, these are all good. Uh, Lego games are good. If you if you have a kid, especially, definitely play the Lego games. They're all good games. Uh, you're not missing. Like it, it's definitely worth playing. Uh, we got another one, Lost in Shadow. This is another one that's getting a little pricey. Um, I think this cost me about forty bucks, but it was worth it. This is a good game. This this is good. Play this. We got Madagascar Carts. That's not what I would have expected for a Madagascar game, but okay. We got, oh, we, we got two of them here. We got Madden 09 All Play and Madden 10. Sure. This is an odd one. We got Manhunt 2. I say odd because, I mean, one, it's Manhunt. Like, this game is heavy M rated, you know, like, probably got. I think this game had to get toned down to even get released in just in general, not even counting on the Wii. Um, but more importantly, there's a couple of Rockstar games available on the Wii, including Manhunt, but they didn't put a Grand Theft Auto on here. We got a Manhunt game, but we couldn't get Vice City Stories or Liberty City Stories. Nothing? Okay. It's just, it's just weird to me. Like... Those were coming out at around the time that we was already out. They were on the PSP. I feel like they could have got ported over to the Wii if they wanted to. But no, we got Manhunt 2. I don't know if we got Manhunt 1, but we got Manhunt 2. Uh, we got Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. I mean, these are just some of the greatest 3D platformers ever made. Um, I prefer 1 to 2, but both are like, you yeah. know. Some of the best of the best. If you like Mario, which I mean, why are you watching a Wii video if you don't like Mario? If you like Mario, play these. If you haven't played these already, play these. Um, also, Mario Galaxy 1 is on the Switch, but only physically right now, because I think the digital one is delisted. That'll probably change in the future, but for as of right now, that's delisted. So, you know, pick up the physical copy. I don't know about your local Walmart and Targets, but mine has a ton of them. Uh, we got new Super Mario Brothers Wii. I'm conflicted. This was a really good game when I played it like 10 years ago when it came out. But I replayed it recently with uh, my niece and nephew. It wasn't as fun. I, I mean, it's Mario. It's fun. But I don't know. The, the, the multiplayer was way more chaotic. It might have something to do with me playing with kids, though. So, you know, when I played when I was younger, uh, obviously I was still a teenager, but I, 
that I was the youngest person playing and I was a teenager. So I, I guess playing with uh, little ones, you know, 10 years old, being the oldest and a five year old, it was a little bit more chaotic than I was expecting. Moving on, we have Super Mario All-Stars. I mean, this is fine. I mean, it, it's Mario 1, 2, and 3 and Lost Levels. Like, it, they're all good games and great games even. Um, the only thing is, it, I mean, if this is how you're playing it, like it's on the Switch, uh, on the online service. Like this, this probably isn't the way to play it anymore. It's not like a definitive way to play it or anything. It, it's just Super Mario All Stars on the Wii. Super Paper Mario. I haven't played this one yet. Um, I don't know. I didn't play this one yet. I hear it's good though. I hear this one's really good. This is the only one I know. I haven't played this one, I haven't played the 3DS one. They're the only two I haven't played. This one's not, like, I, I hear this one's the good one. I hear the 3DS one's terrible, but I hear this one's good. I want to play it, just haven't gotten around to it. Mario Kart, not even going to talk about it. Mario Party 8, I think this is the good one. Is this the good one? I want to say this is the good one. There's a Mario Party, I think this is the good one. Is there a 9, 2? I don't know. I think this the one we won is good, and then one we won I think is not so great. If not mistaken, I could be wrong. Um, I haven't played this one yet though, so. But I, I think this is good. We got Mario Power Tennis. This is a GameCube game with motion controls. This is fine. We got Mario Super Sluggers. This is good. I don't like sports games, but these are fun. Mario sports games are always good. Um, this is a weird one. I don't have a case for it. It's a Mario Strikers Charged. This this is good though. And we got the Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics, and Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympics. They're all okay. This is Mario Sports Mix. I haven't played this yet. Also, no case for it. We got Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. These are both good. I don't know about on the Wii, but they're both good games. Uh, I've played them on the PS2 and PS3, and they were both good. Probably just as good on the Wii, but not 100% sure on that. We got Metroid Prime 3. This is a good game. Metroid. Metroid's all, all the Metroid games are good. Metroid Trilogy, this is a good game. All the Metroid games are good. Metroid Other M, this is a good game. All the Metroid games are good. I don't care if you don't like it, it's a good game. Well, be nice to Metroid uh, Other M. Metroid Other M did its best. It's different than, it's different than the Prime games, but it's still good. We got Men in Black, uh, Alien Crisis. I didn't play that one yet. I don't even know if I want to play that. Dr. Will Jackson, The Experience. We're just going to stick that up there. Uh, we got some baseball games. Including backyard baseball. I actually hear this one's not bad. The rest of these, I couldn't care less. Uh, <clears throat> gotta cut down there. Get into the lower shelving. Uh, we got Mario Kart Racers. This is pretty, this is pretty bad. I was wrong. That's a bad kart racing game. We got two Monster High games. We got Skultimate Roller Maze and Ghoul Spirit. Um, I haven't played these, but you know, if you got a little girl and you're trying to get them in the games, especially like the younger, younger kids, these are probably fine. I do like the Monster High uh, like idea though. You know, little goth dolls, I think it's cool. Uh, we got Monster Jam, Urban Assault. Sure. We got Monster Trucks Mayhem. Uh, this one's actually sealed. I've not played this yet. Probably won't play it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna play my baby. If you want to play my baby, play some my baby. I'm not playing my baby. I don't know what to tell you. We got My Sims Kingdom. This actually looks okay. I don't. I haven't played it, but it looks alright. We got. This is a funny one actually. For at least for me. We got Namco Museum Remix. We got Namco Museum Megamix. 
I had this game twice and traded it in because I thought they were the same game. Because the covers are exactly the same. That's a lie. They're almost exactly the same. Three of the four games are the same. The only difference is they switched the crocodile from the bottom to the top. That, that's it. The crocodile moved. And then they replaced whatever this is with this little tank looking game. It's the only difference. Um, so yeah, I confused them. I thought they were one game and I got rid of this game twice. I have them both now. I haven't played them, but yeah, one day. They look decent, so one day I'll play them. Now we got Clash of the Ninja Revolution. I like Naruto. This is a Naruto game. Good. Ninja Revolution 2. Um, case a little. This is another good one. I like these games. I like Naruto. I like Naruto games. This is good. I think this is the one with its own story. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one with the with its own story. It might be the one after this, the Dragon Blade one. I think I'm thinking of the Dragon Blade one. Uh, we got some more sports games. We got NBA Live 09 and NCAA All Play. No. Uh, we got some Nerf or Nothing. End Strike. I don't know what the difference is here. They both are just called Nerf and Strike. This one's a double blast bundle that I don't know if they're the same game or if they're completely different. Oh, this is two games in one. That, that explains it. This has both games. This is the same game and then this, this other kid down here is a different game. I've never played this game, I didn't notice. We got some NHL games. We got 09 and 11. We got Nicktoons Attack the Toy Bots. This is good. I like this game. We got Knights in the Dream. Uh, Knights Dur Journey of Dream, my bad. Um, this one's not bad. It's alright. I never played the Saturn one. I do own the Saturn one, but I never played the Saturn one. Uh, but that one's okay. Not great. Um, I don't know, I would, I, I would suggest picking it up if you see it. It's usually pretty cheap. I paid five bucks for it. It was, it was decent though. Uh, here's a good one. You got No More Heroes 1 and 2. No More Heroes 2 is getting pretty expensive, or at least it was when I bought it. It was like 50 bucks. Um, but both of these are good. They're both on the Switch too. You can buy them digitally. Uh, there was a physical copy going through Limited Run Games, but good luck getting that now. It's probably very expensive unless they, like, Best Buy gets it or something. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If you want to play these, keep an eye out for Best Buy getting the physical copies. Um, but these are both really good games. I highly recommend them. No More Heroes 3 comes out uh, at the end of the month. Um, I'm recording this August 11th, I believe it is. I mean, it's August 17th. What the hell? I just missed the week. Anyway, August 17th. I think it comes out in next weekend, the end of the week. Um, we're right about a week away from it. So, you know, buy No More Heroes 3. It's good. It will be good, I promise. The first two were great. We got Okami. I haven't played this one. I played it on the PS4 though. PS4 version was good. Um, I own it on the PS2 and the Wii, but I never played them on them. So I can't vouch for this version being good, but I've heard really good things and then got an HD re-release on the PS4 and I beat that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is good. We got One Piece, uh, Unlimited Adventure. Never played it, I don't like One Piece. But I do like owning anime games, because anime games usually cost quite a bit, and if I ever get into the anime, which One Piece is one that I want to get into more, um, I've only read about 8 volumes of it. Obviously the series is like 100 volumes long for the manga anyway, so, but one day I want to get into it, so I bought the game just in case. It's kind of something to hold on to in case it ever I ever start to get a better interest into it, because I do like anime. Uh, we got Pac-Man Party. We bought this because we, me and my wife like party games. Um, there's a Pac-Man party game that's on the PS2 and GameCube that we play that she's a big fan of. So we bought that one in hopes that it might be something similar. Uh, Pirates. I bought this because it looks stupid. Pokemon Battle Revolution. It's Pokemon. I have to own it. It's Pokemon. Also, it's basically Pokemon Stadium for the Wii. And yeah, you know, Gen 4, it's a good way to play. Um, kind of requires the DS, if I'm not mistaken, when I first played it. Um, I've only played it like twice. Uh, I thought I'd get more use out of it, and I didn't. 
Um, but when I first played, I'm pretty sure I couldn't do anything because you need like a DS to put in any Pokemon. Um, not 100% sure how that works, but if you already are playing the Gen 4 games on the DS, pick that up. It's probably worth it. Uh, moving on towards the end here, we got Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond. I haven't played this either. I recently got this uh, on a GameStop sale. Luckily, it came complete. Or, yeah, luckily it came complete. Still gotta get the first one, but again, it's Pokemon. I bought it solely because it's Pokemon. And one day I'll get around to actually trying it then. We got the prices right. My wife likes this show, so maybe we'll like the game. We got Punch Out. This is great. Play with the balance board. Makes it harder, but more fun. We got Rampage, Total Destruction. Uh, me and my wife are both big fans. Of, uh, we both like Rampage quite a bit, so we picked this up. Yeah, looks fun. Uh, this is a good one. We got Red Steel 1 and 2. Red Steel 1 kind of sucks. Red Steel 2, pretty good. Kind of hope they re-release those or make a Red Steel 3. Uh, we got the big box edition. It comes with the Wii Motion Plus. Um, but this is sealed. Uh, I bought it like this and I already owned the game, so I just kept it sealed. We got Reload. Never played it. Resident Evil 4. If you're looking to me, for me to tell you Resident Evil 4 is good, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Never played it. We got Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. I'm going to go ahead and say this game blows because it's missing the Wii logo. I've never played this game, but it's missing the Wii logo, and that really bothers me. We got Rune Factory Frontier. Um, this isn't for me, this is my wife's game. She says she doesn't like it. I don't know if, that's, if it's bad, I don't know if it's just because she doesn't like the Wii controls, but she says she doesn't like it. We got... Somebody Amigo. I mean, it's actually not bad. And we got Scooby-Doo First Frights. I've never played this, but now I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like it's a, supposed to be a pup named Scooby-Doo type game. Not sure if that's accurate or not. I'm going to play it and find out though, because if it's a pup named Scooby-Doo, it's definitely going to the top of that list of good games, because pup named Scooby-Doo was the best Scooby-Doo. Don't let anyone tell you different. We got Sesame Street, Cookies Counting Carnival. Mm -mm. Showtime Championship Boxing. That, that, I have nothing to say there. Shrek Forever After, the final chapter. It was a great movie. Not sure about the game, but the movie's good. We got Silent Hill, Shattered Memories. Uh, this game's pretty expensive on every platform. This is, I believe, the cheapest platform to get it on. And it's not bad. It's a decent game. I like Silent Hill, so if you like Silent Hill, definitely pick it up. We got The Simpsons game. This is another good one. Um, if you like The Simpsons, you should play playing this. Like, it's, this is good. It's not, it's not hit and run. It's not hit and run. It's not even Road Rage. But it's not Simpsons skateboarding either. So, or Simpsons wrestling. So yeah, it, it's decent, it's good. It's fun in its own right. We got Sin and Punishment. The, the uh, classic 64 game that never was here. That got a, a sequel, like, 15 years later. Whatever. Good game. We got Sonic Unleashed. Never played it. We got Spider-Man Friend or Foe. This one's good. We also got Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This one, uh, okay. We got SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, what is this? Creature from the Krusty Krab. I like SpongeBob games, they're usually pretty decent. We got SpongeBob SquarePants featuring Nicktoons. Haven't played this one yet, but really want to get around to it. And we got SpongeBob SquarePants Truth or Square. Haven't played that one either yet. We got Star Trek Conquest. Have not played this yet. We got 
Star Wars The Force Unleashed and Star Wars The Clone Wars. Force Unleashed is pretty good. Haven't played Clone Wars. We got Summer Sports something. Paradise Island. I don't know. Probably bad. Looks bad. We got Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. This is a good game, but I didn't play it on the Wii. I played it on the Switch. It looks good, though. It's probably good. It's Smash Brothers. Just, just play Smash Brothers. Rockstar Games Table Tennis. Never played this. Tangled. This is pretty bad. Thor. Didn't play it. It's like I made a lot of adventure games. Tiger Woods. Not playing that. Tony Hawk Downhill Jam. No. Tony Hawk Ride. Ew. Tournament of Legends. Uh, I haven't played this, but it looked pretty cool when I bought it. Uh, we got Toy Story 3. Still haven't played it. Probably not that good. Uh, we got Trauma Center, Second Opinion. This is pretty good. It's a nice uh, Atlas game. Atlas games are usually pretty good. Turtle, uh, Turtles Smash Up. I remember playing this. I think this is pretty good. It's been a long time, though. I've had that game for a very long time. I'm pretty sure it's decent, though. Uh, we've got TV Show King Party. Never played it. You Draw Studios. I paid a dollar for it, and it came with a tablet. That tells you everything you should know about that game. Vegas Party. Never played it. Victorious. Taking the lead. This game's amazing. That's a lie. This is like a Guitar Hero S game. All right, rounding off to the end here. Uh, we got Wario Land Shake It. I like Wario Land games. This is a great Wario Land game. Please bring Wario Land back. We got WarioWare Smooth Moves. WarioWares are good. There's a new one coming out in a couple of months. Play it. Play this one too. We're gonna speed through these ones because they're all, you know, the same idea. We got We Fit. We Fit Plus. We Music. We Party. We Play. We Play Motion. And Wii Sports Resort. Along with regular Wii Sports and another copy of Wii Sports Resort. Um, all the Wii games, these Wii Party, Wii Sports, all that stuff, they're all good. Uh, Wii Music's garbage. But the rest of them are pretty good. I haven't played Wii Party though, so maybe don't take my opinion too uh, literally on the Wii Party, on the Wii Music. Those are probably bad. Wii Music's garbage. Uh, the rest of them are pretty good though. Wii, uh, we Fit and We Fit Plus are good games. And We Play and We Play Motion are good games. And We Sports and We Sports Resort are fun. We got Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Never played it, but I don't think it was that good. Don't like the TV show either. We got X Men Destiny. I hear this is actually pretty good. I have not played it. X Men's Origins Wolverine. Terrible movie. Terrible game. Xenoblade. If you like Xenoblade, you probably already know. If not, I'm not going to be the one to convince you. I, I don't like Xenoblade. Uh, I do like the characters in Smash Brothers, though. That's all I got. I, I like playing as Pyramithra in Smash. The swap mechanic's cool. I don't really care for Xenoblade. It was really slow and kind of boring. But that's just me. I'm not an RPG guy. We got 5Ds, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wheelie Breakers. Uh, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! games, so this is a decent one. And we got 5Ds Dual Transfer. Again, I like Yu-Gi-Oh games. This is a good one. If you like Yu-Gi-Oh, play them. We got Zoo Hospital. I've never played this. It kind of looks like a bad version of that trauma, uh, of the Trauma Center game, though. And we got Zumba, which I've never played and have no intention to play. All right, so that's all of the uh, Wii games I have. As you can see, there are quite a few of them. So as you can see, there's a. Uh, actually quite a lot of really good Wii games that exist like it's not all your your casual based games there's a lot of um, you know, more serious you know gamer type games I guess you could say like your fire emblems your 
Donkey Kongs. Drag them up. Uh, your Zeltas, I mean, there's multiple Zeltas on the system. You know, you just, there's just a lot of really good stuff on the system and people just completely overlook the Wii. I don't know why, because like, the Wii's really good. The Wii, the Wii has so many good games. Look at all these games. All these Wii games. And like, 80% of them are good. There's a handful of like stupid, like sure, there's your, there's your super just like, but no one bought this and was like, this is gonna be fucking great. No, it, it, you knew that was terrible when you bought it. If you didn't, you, you're lying to yourself. Uh, but yeah, there's so many good games, Lily. I love collecting for it. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to post more often. See how that works out. Uh, I think I've probably posted two videos a week for the last few weeks. Uh, we're trying to keep on that kind of a schedule. But we'll see how it goes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, 